your show. Can you hear that? Well, talk about spring. Seriously. I guess we need to do more of an indoor activity like in elementary school. So let's go ahead and get started with today's video. Today's video is going to be a little different. As you can see, I don't look as formal as usual, which I don't really care about, which you shouldn't really care about either. I'm trying to be myself in this. We're going to review the Galaxy Note 3. Now, I know that it's a phone that was released in October. Ding! I understand that. And I understand that it's going to be a year old soon. I got that. But it's also an important device in which I happen to own. And do you know how many times I've been trying to do this video? Like, seriously, I've been trying to do this video and get it together for God knows how long. It has been so frustrating how much I've been trying to do this this review and but anyways so we're gonna go ahead and do the review the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 is a device that was released in October of 2013 in its class it is considered the top of the line smartphone and it is also considered the best if you compare it to the Galaxy S5 which was recently released in some cases it is considered to be better the word better is quite relative because that depends on the market that you're in and what exactly you're looking for. In my case, I was looking for a device that would operate quite functionally, would be bigger than an iPhone, and would be much faster and lack the lag, which we will get to in a little bit here. Now when you take the device out of the box, the box is going to have the charger and the power cord to charge it. It's going to be like big in your hands because it's a device that is quite large. It's really hard to hold for like people that have smaller hands, but for the average person I've seen it to, seen it to do pretty good. This device has Android 4.3 Jelly Bean on it. It also has the latest version of TouchWiz installed. Now not many of you like TouchWiz, but on this device you might appreciate it. This device TouchWiz is optimized just for that phablet-like feeling. The feeling of where it's a phone and a tablet at the same time. Without TouchWiz, this device would be quite plain. TouchWiz is very important because without it, like I said, it would look plain. But not only that, a lot of the features such as the S Pen would no longer be present. You have to come to appreciate TouchWiz, at least in this respect. As you can probably see, the screen is quite beautiful. It has a Super AMOLED capacitive touchscreen. The size is 1080 by 1920 pixels, which is quite large and will get what you need done on the viewing side. It is also 5.7 inches, which brings you a whopping 386 ppi pixel density. That's quite a lot. This model is the 32GB internal storage model. There is also a 64GB version that you can purchase for I think it's an additional $100 to $200. I highly recommend just using an SD card. You can put up to 64 gigs in there and it works quite well. As for the networking types, that completely depends on where you live. There are two different models of the device. There is one that is an international model, which has an octa-core processor, and there's a US model, which is a quad-core processor. The international model does not support LTE, while the US model does support LTE. And the LTE is quite fast. It is category four, up to 150 Mbps download, and up to 50 Mbps upload. Now I haven't reached 150 Mbps download on AT&T's network, but I'm sure it'll be possible in the near future. Oh, and speaking of processor, yes, it has the Qualcomm Snapdragon 800, the N905 and N902 versions have that, which is this one. There's also the international version, like I said, which has the Exynos 5 Octa 5420. And again, I don't know why Samsung is catering to the international world, not really US, but I guess they just think that the US doesn't need 8 cores. I don't know, whatever the case is, that's just what they decided to do. If you're into gaming, you're gonna love this device. The GPU is an Adreno 330, and this device also sports a lithium ion 3200 mAh battery which is intended to get you throughout the whole entire day if not more. 
If you're coming from an iPhone, you're going to be shocked that this device will last you all day. Just like people say in reviews, it lasts 11 to 12 hours with heavy use and 5 to 6 hours of screen time. One of the main reasons why I switched from the iPhone was UI responsiveness. iOS 7 was such a lag for me, and I don't know about your experience with iOS 7, but it didn't work out too well for me. Well, all I did was simply go to a T-Mobile store, and I said, you know what, I want to get a Galaxy Note 3. And they, you know, had exclaimed to me that, hey, you could return it if you didn't like it. And I was cool with that. Well, I ended up falling in love with it because it's so fast. The 13 megapixel rear-facing camera is quite nice. It gets the job done, colors are vibrant, and it looks nice. It also shoots 4K video, which, in my opinion, it's a little bit too grainy for my taste, but it, again, it gets the job done. I think that this camera does an excellent job with slow motion. We've gotten a lot of good slow motion on this. It looks nice. When people are shopping around for a smartphone, oftentimes they're looking for something that has a really good front-facing camera. It doesn't need to be the best camera in the world, but it shouldn't be the crappiest. This device sports a 2.0 megapixel camera in the front. At the end of the day, this device is extremely powerful, and I think it will last you the full two years of your contract, unless something new comes out. It's powerful, it's responsive, and the S Pen makes a great addition to anyone's day. I just love to be able to take notes, don't you? I get tired of having paper around and stuff. Well, that's it. This is my Galaxy Note 3 review. I hope you've enjoyed it. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Also. Tell me in the comment section below, do you own this device? Do you know people that own this device? And do you like the device, or are you just holding out for the Samsung Galaxy S5? Oh my god, I love your show!